Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you like what you hear. Um, please be mindful, these are general messages. So take what fits, leave the rest, don't try to force anything to fit. Also, I'll be here this Friday evening to do a live Q&A. So if you're interested in getting a tarot reading from me, just pop in this Friday night, um, 10 p.m., I'm sorry, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, okay? Um, and I'll be on for about an hour, right before the holiday weekend. Yay. All right, you guys. <laughs> let's get into this reading. All right, let's see. This is for July 2022. So you're starting off with kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay, somebody here wants to kiss you, Virgo. Somebody's falling in love. Ooh, the phoenix. Mm, they're what you call it. It's rising, isn't it? New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. All right, let's see. And coffee cup. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Going to have coffee with somebody, maybe? Something coming up. Coffee date, meeting and connecting, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. Okay. New phase here. Okay. Transformation, growth. Somebody's changing their mind about something. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, let's see who this person is. What's the energy of this person? What the heck is going on here? You know what? We're going to pull the bottom of the deck. All right. You've got the King of Cups here. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You could be connecting with someone of that element, or this is just someone who is, um, could be male or female energy, in, more in the masculine energy though um supportive type of a person very tolerant empathetic could be a professor a teacher um somebody who's very wise quite intuitive this person comes across as very nurturing um maybe a healer of some sort okay <coughs> oh my gosh and you've got the emperor so okay the emperor is coming through as an energy so this person is coming in like in boss mode okay um taking a lead taking a leadership position taking a leadership position oh my gosh i can't even believe this you're getting some communication about meeting or going on a date going to have coffee somewhere for some of you this could be a reconciliation situation but there's an opening up here somebody with the nine of cups coming across with you know, you're like, I wish come true for me. Um, you might get a message like that from somebody. Wow, Virgo. Um, wow. Okay. So let's get more into this reading. Let's take a look and see what this person's energy is. And then we're going to take a look at yours. Okay. Um, hmm, I feel like somebody is, there's like some growth that's happening here. This could be somebody that you're already involved with at this time. Somebody falling in love with you. Um, savoring moments with you, feeling good to be together, feeling good um, doing certain things, going out to dinner, having coffee, spending some time together. This feels like a meeting, a meeting up, connecting, and, and maybe for some of you it's a first kiss. Okay. Somebody falling in love. Okay. So you've got someone here who sits in the full energy, the three of cups okay taking a risk yeah let's do this let's either reunite you've got someone it could be an Aquarius but you have someone here let's reunite let's connect let's go on a trip together let's meet up or traveling back and forth to see each other very beautiful energy some kind of a celebration um, somebody could be getting an invite because we did see the page of wands so you could be getting an invite from someone to either have a reunion or connect in like invite to some kind of um uh very important event like an event a celebratory event okay somebody's coming in um to visit this person is coming in for some type of celebratory event maybe something's going on with you or they're inviting you to something along those lines could be um i just heard like it's at a coffee house for some of you okay Yep. So, hmm. Okay. Queen of Cups is here. So like I said, in male or female energy, it's exchangeable. We're not looking at genders. We're not looking at, you know, sexes or anything, whoever this person is. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. I see somebody sitting at a table looking, this person, not you, looking at this inside their coffee cup, thinking really hard, um, but kind of like, it's more like checking to see how they feel. Okay. This person has is coming to terms. They have very strong feelings for you. Very strong feelings for you. Now, like I said, this could be a reconciliation or reunion with someone. And for others, somebody you could be with. and Or it could be somebody coming in in the month of July. Okay. So... I feel like, you know, sitting there, having drinks, having coffee, communicating with each other. This person is really getting into their emotions, their feelings. You see how this queen is sitting there and she's looking in that cup like she's reflecting on how she feels. And um, it's purity of feelings, purity of emotions, because she's dressed in all white. He or she, I'm just saying she because she sits, it sits here as a she. Also thinking about, um, it looks like her throne is quite a phallus symbol. So she could be, she, he or she could be thinking about how the emotions are stirring up that, hmm, uh, stirring up the, um, the hormones, so to speak. Okay. Um, things are getting stronger. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got to stop. <laughs> things are getting these feelings, the emotions are stirring up passions within somebody here. Oh my goodness. The phoenix is rising. This is a very stimulating reading. That's what I'm going to It's very stimulating for you, Virgo. All right, let me see. So yeah, this person. Okay. Oh, and then, yeah. <laughs> uh, they just told me I need to take a cold shower. Not me. Not me. Somebody here is like, I need to get a cold, I need to take a cold shower, okay, and keep this to myself. I don't feel like, though, they're going to share that with you. This person's not going to tell you, oh, you know, you're turning me on. They're not going to say that right away, but they're feeling it. They're going to be feeling it. And so when you guys sit down or when there's something that happens, when there's the sit down um, over drinks or coffee or whatever, or there's some kissing that starts, there's this... Oh my goodness, I can't get up from the coffee table. My phoenix is rising. I need to just refocus my energy. They're hiding this, okay? Hiding this. Transformation and growth. Oh, let me tell you what. I feel like a 13-year-old here giving these messages. But yeah, somebody here is... The, the, the feeling is becoming very, very strong or will become very, very strong. All right, let me just get a clarifying card on these three major arcanas. Show me. Okay, let me see what the full energy is. Okay, now we have the King of Wands. Okay, so as an energy, this is somebody who's like making a bold move, taking a risk as far as connecting with you. This is like throwing their cares to the wind and taking that leap of faith as far as connecting with you or spending time with you. I don't know why they have to take a leap of faith, but this person is feeling like this is the path to go. This is the choice. This is where we have to go. Abandon all cares to the wind. Okay, taking a chance. Um, I'm going on this adventure with Virgo. I'm going to, like, I don't even care what anybody thinks. I'm, I'm even going to leave whatever party I'm at and come connect with Virgo. Even if it's like we're at a reunion together and then we go sit outside together. I don't, there's just so much passion from this person. And now, as far as not being a, an energy, this could be a King of Wands. Uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Okay, we did see Aries. So for some of you, you might know who this person is. Let me see. You know what? And, and I'm going to tell you that um, hmm, um, with that Fool card, the Fool is always about new. Okay, so this feels like somebody new who's coming in or this situation is presenting as new. Now let me see this this strength card. Okay. Clarified with the magician. Wow. 
and the eight of wands. So yeah, this person is gonna make this happen. They feel very strongly about you and it's just gonna keep growing and growing and transforming. Um, you do something this person rekindle you you kindle something and there's a rekindling so some of you may know who this person is or maybe you're already dating them and it's been a little bit of time but now there's like this rekindling of passion and hormone and and these feelings coming in from this person for you okay ace of wands oh my god if that is not the card of being this is a very stimulating reading virgo for you or for your person or, or you know if you're a male listening and um you're involved with a female or a male with a male um this is what they're thinking about you <laughs> okay and um virgo if you're female listening um and you're involved with a female they're thinking about a toy and if you're a female virgo listening for uh, and your person is a male this is what's happening to them okay and they're trying to hide it that's what i'm saying like i gotta run outside <laughs> i gotta go into the refrigerator i gotta go get a cold shower and not showing it keeping it like within now this is going to happen when the when the connection gets made or when you guys are together there's but there's something here of like you know oh, we, it might be a public place so it can't happen in a public place but look at this ace of wands i mean or eight of wands this is like a happening very quickly sitting here at the table <laughs> i know where this reading's going i'm not even kidding sitting here sitting here at this table okay having drinks whatever you know you got your coffee you're doing whatever i don't know wherever you are there's food on the table whatever and and this this feeling is getting stronger and stronger and listen listen it keeps coming it keeps coming it keeps it keeps happening and it's like it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and it's like waves of orgasmic waves of emotion i don't even know and this person's like oh my gosh no i gotta get outside i i gotta cool off i gotta go in the air I, let me go run into the refrigerator into the kitchen i get a <laughs> get a cold shower what the heck virgo all right let me take a look at you how does it go this way how how does it happen how does it happen? Let me see, Virgo. What's your energy? <laughs> oh, look at you. You've got the Six of Cups. Some of you are wanting this. You're wanting this rekindling. You're wanting this connection. You've got someone in your mind here. Oh my gosh, this could be like a past person that is just like a wish come true for you. Okay, and Virgo, some of you want to, want, definitely want to reconnect with someone here this would just make your day okay that that nine of cups i mean whenever i look at this this person on this card i always feel like he just finished a big old fat chicken dinner with mashed potatoes and beans and he just stuffed himself and now he's like lulled to sleep with emotion and or he drank too much and he's a glutton but it's kind of like that's the feeling like that satisfactory feeling you know of <laughs> i mean like i just i just want it all just let me the whole smorgasbord virgo you're like just give me that buffet let me go to town because that's going to make my day and i am not talking so much about the relationship i'm talking about the physical passions okay and eating it up because i feel like whoever this person is that you're connecting with or that you're with or that you're going to be meeting up with um it's it feels kind of like you know we're in a public place and we're really feeling it for each other and but we can't do anything about it and that is making it even more you know stimulating for both of you <laughs> oh my gosh maybe you're already connecting you might already be dating this person or you're out at dinner you know and somebody's like when we get under the table i mean wait <laughs> i don't know you're, you're just it's sexy and fun it's sexy fun for July. Okay. Now you have the Queen of Wands. So that's your position. Now you might be on the cusp of Leo or Virgo, uh, Leo Virgo, but you and come and your Leo's coming out. 
or you are your passion. You're just embodying that fire energy, that passion, feistiness, feeling confident, self-assured, um, very charismatic and charming and, and quite courageous. You might be doing something quite courageous. Maybe you guys meet up at a, at a restaurant or you, you go have drinks at a, you know, a, a restaurant or where there's a bar or something, or there's some kind of reunion that you both attend and something gets spicy between the two of you. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sagittarius energy here. So yeah, this is my um, this is this is my bartender card. This is like somebody who's mixing the drinks. Listen, Virgo, be careful. Be careful. You know, um, try to pace yourself a little bit. You don't want to get in any trouble. Um, if you don't drink, um, just pay. You know, like, and your person might get a little tipsy you know um just i don't know i don't feel like there's a warning really i just this is just me being motherly and just telling you to be careful pace yourself at your drinks um somebody could be sitting outside there might be an outdoor event or an outdoor party um oh so we do have the fourth of july coming up so maybe there's something over this weekend that's going to start or kick off um yeah i feel like you've got a bartender here mixing drinks um mixing up some shots yeah okay yeah okay um i feel like this is gonna be you virgo <laughs> really i feel like you're gonna be feeling pretty good um now if you don't drink um you know i don't know what you're gonna be doing here maybe you'll have like a little sip of something but if you're like completely anti alcohol i don't know this might not be for you you might just be watching the bartender and just you know watching the mixed maybe you are some of you might be bartenders and you meet someone that's like pretty crazy becomes pretty crazy about you that's it but for others i feel like you might be having maybe like quite a few over the weekend or going into july or some kind of event and just really feeling some of you all right i'm going to tell you what that's what they just said some of you are going to drunk text or drunk or drunk call your ex and then the shit's gonna hit the fan and start all over again so if you're not listen virgo if that's not something that you want to uh if you're listening to this like oh my god i better not like that's why i think that message was pace yourself be careful give your phone to your friend because some of you are gonna might maybe accidentally or something's gonna happen and then your person out of nowhere is like uh, they want to come see you this person not maybe not your person but this person you could be out with friends or or whatever and then they want to come meet you up somewhere and it's like this they fall in love like they're like oh my gosh i didn't think that i would hear from you and you know i know some of you like oh i'm totally drunk texting or drunk calling and this person like takes a chance and they're like all right i'm coming where are you? where are you I'm coming to see you and and something starts here some some kissing starts and then there's this you know overall message there's like some growth and this physical connection getting made here oh wow okay mm, devil energy listen this might not be somebody you need to be connecting with or you better just be careful because this is obsession virgo you're gonna get like this is intoxication okay a little intoxication here um this three of pentacles wow okay hold on what are they trying to tell me here what is this All right, I gotta set this aside for a second because I'm not picking up anything here with this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so uh, this is like teamwork. <laughs> I get it, I get it. I get what they're trying, what Spears trying to say. This is like teamwork. You both are going to try to create this very intoxifying, well, at least you are, this intoxicating connection with this person. You both are, though. You know, like, I feel you're going to be down for this as much as, okay? And so, listen, I know if you're not trying to connect with your ex, um, 
this could be somebody that you're either currently talking to or you meet who, like I said, you get together and you meet somewhere. But look, I mean, Virgo, there's like, you're both going to be completely naked and transparent with each other. You know, Virgo's going to be all like, this is heavenly. Look how she's looking up. Okay. Um, the females are going to be, this is heavenly. And the males are going to be like, give me a little bit more of that. <laughs> Virgo. I seriously feel like this is going to be a, this amazing falling in love, passion, um, physical intimacy, the whole nine yards. It's going to be so like so much fun and sexy times together. Why do I feel so weird talking about this? It's like complete transparency. Virgo, somebody's falling in love with you here. Like this is a, this is like two people both of you choosing to come together like I don't know how, if, if you're going to be doing something in the building or are they going to be leaving and going somewhere what's going on here with Virgo oh yeah you're going to be leaving and you know all right we're done with this place let's get out of here back you want to come back to my my place or the car I don't know Virgo, this just feels like light and energy and it feels like risky, be risky. Um, some of you are just like, yeah, okay, bring it, you know, because there's, there's a love thing happening here. It's not, this doesn't feel like a one night stand. Okay. This feels like something that actually turns into, you know, something real here. Okay. So I was asking, you guys are going to be leaving the place that you are and uh, I don't know, spending the weekend together or getting together during the week or something, it progresses into something beautiful. Okay, so let me take a look and see what the Romance Angels messages are. This reading seems fun. Don't be getting mad at me if this is your ex. We had this conversation yesterday. I know you don't want your ex back. Okay, fine. Don't take your ex back. If this somebody new could be coming in, I showed you that we had the full card. So that's a card of newness. There could be a fire sign who's coming in who's new. There could be a water sign. All right, let me see what the romance angels are here. I'm just seeing you guys connecting over drinks or food or something, having conversation, then there's some affection and kissing, and then these feelings start, and then they go right to the groin area, and everybody's feeling hot and bother bothered, and then there's, oh my goodness, this chemistry, that's what you're going to be feeling with someone here. There, there's a strong magnetic attraction with this person, and it's going to be almost impossible to get away from. It's going to feel so like you're chained to each other. Look at this. A very strong magnetic attraction happening here with you and this person. Mm, calling in your soulmate. Okay, there's a phone call. I told you, be careful. Don't be, don't be uh, drunk dialing your ex if you're not trying to connect with your ex. But hey, you never know. You might accidentally do it with uh, non-intentional, and that stirs this person up. And for others, um, this is like. You've been praying, you've been visualizing someone and you're connecting with this person already. They've come in or for others, it's somebody who's showing up out of the blue, or maybe they're coming into your town or you meet them in an event or a reunion or some kind of party or something in July. And then boom, we're sitting across the table. There's check, uh, there's a checker red and white checkered cloth table and you know we're having hot dogs and hamburgers and and we're sitting outside and the kids are in the pool and all of a sudden boom somebody's horny and something's going on and there's this affection and there's all this stuff going on and and goodness there's some kind of celebration maybe there's a parade you guys connect at a parade or something in july it could be somebody's a cancer it's their birthday look at this playfulness capture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so there's all of this play activity happening so there's something fun going on kids on swings there's people at playgrounds there's parks there's fireworks there's uh, some some type of event of some sort where there's just so much fun and it just feels good it just this reading feels amazing Okay, so it's in July, right? So let me take a look. Hold on a second. 
Let's see what this person's Chinese sign. Yours, theirs, both of you, or none. Either way. However it fits, let it fit. If not, leave it alone. Let me take a look. Chinese sign here of this person. Or of Virgo. Or both. All right. I've got the year of the snake. Year of the pig. Year of the rat. Double snake. Okay. Year of the goat. Year of the tiger. Year of the ox. Year of the horse. And a rabbit. And I feel like yesterday I did tell you that there was somebody coming in. I was feeling strongly that they were a year of the rabbit. Um, so for some of you that might resonate very heavily. Super awesome. Let me see here. Let's get some love messages. July's looking good, you guys. July's looking good. Lots of affection and kisses. And, and there's just this thing that it's like, listen, if you've been involved with this person and you guys have been, you know, affectionate with each other, physically affectionate or intimate that way, someone here falls in love after one of these intimate moments. You, maybe. This person, maybe. Well, somebody does, both of you, okay? There's a falling in love energy that's happening here in July. So if you're in a relationship with someone and you're not trying to have a love thing go, you better back out of this because this person, there's love, uh, there's attraction, magnetic attraction, chemistry. It's just a click. It's Cupid's arrows because you have the eight of wands. And that's Cupid's arrows. So this is like out of the blue. Okay, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. <laughs> so for those of you, listen to me. For those of you, okay, somebody's falling in love here after a physical act, a physical intimacy. If you are like, oh, I better not, okay? Because you, you might be the one who's like, nah, nah, I was just trying to date. I'm not trying to have love, okay? Um, or, you're, or this is somebody that you're just not crazy head over heels with, you could wind up being head over heels with this person. Um, and for others, this person, if you knew them in the past, you were on, you didn't have the same vision, and now that's changing. There's just this falling in love. Cupid's arrow striking. That's the only, that's it, that's it right there. Something going on with you, Virgo. Okay, forgiving yourself or, or another will help you move forward. Okay, there's some change here. There's forgiveness. Okay, somebody's like, either it's you or this person or both of you forgiving each other for some past indiscretions or things like that and having this whole new like love thing is blowing up again here. I don't even know. I, I just don't even know because I don't feel like it's really anything bad. I just feel like this is crazy. Um, for some of you, there might be some red flags that you got to pay attention to here. All right, let me get into, let me get into, what is this? Oh, there you go. I can't stop thinking about you. That just was sitting right over the side here on my table. So somebody here, it's like, it just happens out of the blue. It's like a tower moment, but a positive tower moment. It's a good thing. It's a real good thing. Um, all right, let's get into some of the charms and see. And I think I was telling you guys, June 29th, 28th or 29th, um, the 29th is the new moon. So there's definitely going to be a shift of new beginnings with the new moon. And I feel like this comes like right after it into July. This kind of feels like, um, you know, I am going to do a weekend reading on Thursday to kick off the weekend reading, but I do kind of feel like this is something that's beginning to gain momentum with the new moon with this person. Okay. All right. Somebody's a mechanic or works with tools. Okay. Or you're working with a tool right now or somebody works with tools at this time. Okay. Um, 
Oh, they just said um, throwing a monkey wrench into the wheel. Yeah, this is like, er, everybody stop. What the heck? It just happened. And we also have, what the heck? Oh, we've got a reindeer. No, that's a unicorn. Oh, shit. It's a unicorn. I feel like this is kind of a surprise. Here's that Jack thing again. Jack Rabbit. Okay, somebody's meaning a Jack or there's a Jackie or Jacqueline or John um, who's a rabbit sign. This might be for you. Maybe it's you or this person. I think we said that in yesterday's reading. If you were on a plane or flying somewhere, there's a connection to this. Oh my goodness. I think my, my printer is going off all by itself. I think that was a sign. Okay, so this unicorn, this this is what this feels like. It's unbelievable. This is this is a situation that is completely out of the blue. You don't even see this coming. Um, of course, you listen to the reading, so now you will. And you also have. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, okay. They just told me. They just gave me this black cloud. They just told me black cloud is lifting. So if you are connected with someone. You're on stormy seas with someone before some of you and it was hard to get hold of the wheel the ship there was a storm there was a black cloud that the storm has passed we're on smooth waters we're sailing here we have a um a ship's wheel okay so the wheel is turning things are shifting here things are changing we're steering the ship virgo maybe you're on a boat or somebody is a captain captain of a boat or they have some kind of a boat of some sort they could be I just want to get no I'm not gonna do any more let me just get a couple of more uh, I want to see what the signs are if there's any other signs we need to pick up on here for you okay we have a Scorpio we have Aries Taurus and a Pisces as well okay Scorpio Aries Cancer and Aries twice All right, Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, okay? If you know who your person is and I didn't call their sign, don't worry about it. If this message is resonating for you in any way, great. If it's not, wait and see because it is a little predictive, so you'll have to see. Let me get a couple of numbers. Okay, so we have somebody, so uh, birthday August 6th, we have December 8th. Um, Somebody's born in 82, somebody is 50. Um, we have April 12th. We also have someone's December 12th. What? Let's see what else. Um, November 2nd. Damn. Let me tell you what that just fell on. 28. Okay, either somebody's birthday is on the 28th or somebody is age 28. Okay. So we also have, okay, Virgo, November 13th. Um, we have a November 8th. We have 1999. You have, hmm, okay, somebody's born on the 13th. Okay, also the 15th, somebody is 40. So there's 28 again. Somebody was born in 68. Someone is 35. And let's see, May 1st. May 14th also, and we're picking up, okay, someone is age 49, and also we have 1989, okay, maybe that's a birth date, we also have the 23rd, and I'm getting area code 314-589, um, uh, we're getting, um, I don't know if it's an area code, but I'm getting the numbers 992, Maybe that's in a phone number. Okay. We're getting 271. Um, okay, somebody's just at a 7-Eleven or goes to a 7-Eleven. <laughs> um, okay. And someone's like, I'm open from 7 to 11. Isn't that a song? Open from 7 to 11? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, 917? And, oh, 
they just gave me 911. Now, either that's September 11th, that's your birthday, or 911. Somebody better call the fire department on this reading because that's what I'm telling you right now. You guys, point blank, period, are going to be getting something coming up here and and it just like wow beautiful connection intimate kissing affection all of that turns into this bam can't stop thinking about each other can't like can't stop touching each other love happens like this is the reading of all readings the prospect is good this prospect this might be a new prospect for you or there's something that occurs that <laughs> you should, probably shouldn't. There might be some red flags, but uh, some of you are like connecting either. I just feel like accidentally with uh, someone from your past or something happens and then communication starts. And then some of you are like, I know I shouldn't be with this person, but oh my gosh, the, the attraction or the chemistry is off the charts. But then something's different. Something changes. So Virgo, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. I can't go in into this any more than I already have because boom, we still got to save something for tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy that. Hope it resonates for you. Don't forget to join me Friday night live this Friday night, July 3rd, uh, uh, 10 30 PM Eastern. I'll be here until 1130 and uh, uh, Eastern. So figure out your time zones. You can pop in the chat, ask a question. It's going to be free. Um, and uh, it, there'll probably be a lot of people. So, you know, I'll try to get to as many questions as I can. I'm not going to go into deep readings. Just keep it very simple. Anything you want to know, you know, um, there will also be super chat available. If you want to donate anything, you can put your question in there as well. Um, if you really want to make sure that you get heard, that's always an option for you, but I'll do my very best to get a whole, like get all of your questions answered. All right, you guys, I love you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye.